How's it going? I'm doing fantastic. Sorry my hair is a mess. I have been out searching for stones and I have found some beautiful stones. Um, I found these at a landscaping company that is um, close by and I'm just so excited. It was like finding paradise. <laughs> um, today's tutorial is going to be on um, this, I turned this clay pot bottom into a little cute little jewelry dish. And I've got um, this design is what I'll be showing you in this tutorial. And so if you're interested in seeing uh, that, then keep watching. Okay, so I'm just starting off with a plain clay pot bottom. Um, and I painted matte black to begin. Um, this is an 11 and a half millimeter crochet hook, and I'm just using white in the center. Oh, you can get these pot bottoms. I got this at Michael's um, for less than a dollar, so you can get them pretty much, I would say, any craft store. Um, I would think Walmart probably has some too. I'm not positive. Okay, um, I'm using a size 3. Um, that's a nail stylus dotting tool, and I'm going to just make a dot a crisscross around the circle and then a dot right in between each of the crisscross dots and then a dot in between each of those. So there's going to be a total of 16 dots around that center dot and that I'm just using some cobalt blue. Okay so moving on, um, this is a size 5 nail stylus dotting tool. I'm just going to put a gold dot right in between on the outside edge of each of those cobalt dots there. So this is the second ring around. Now I'm using um, my very smallest wooden dowel. Um, it's about a three and a half millimeter in diameter. And I'm just going to go with some silver. And again, just right in between each of the previous row dots there. And I'm just going to dot it all the way around so it's a third ring. And this is a four millimeter crochet hook, and this is a light blue. And I'm just going to go right in between each of the silver dots. And you can find links to all of my tools. If you um, look in the video's description below, you will find links for all the tools that I use. And it does help me out, and I really appreciate it when you buy from those links. It helps support my channel. All right, this is a five millimeter crochet hook, and I'm going to switch over to a copper color, so just a little reddish gold. Again, just going right in between each of the previous row. You just redot the ones that you think need a little bit more paint. That's no big deal at all. Go ahead and re dip your tool and then just redot the same dot. And this is a size 5 nail stylus dotting tool. I'm using a metallic white. And I'm just putting a dot right in between each of the copper dots, just kind of filling in some of the blank spots there. And you don't have to do that at all. If you like the black background, you know, sometimes I feel like that gives it a different dimension when looking um, from afar. So you can leave that. That's just totally personal preference. Um, here I am using a size 2 nail stylus and I'm going to put a little tiny gold dot in between each of the lighter blue. Now this is a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm using a gun metal gray, is what it's called. It's a metallic paint. It dries really pretty. Sorry, the lighting at some angles, I don't know why, it just kind of just doesn't hit it right there, but um, I usually bring it back to the light. 
All right, this is a six millimeter crochet hook. And I'm just gonna go right in between each of those with a red, this is candy apple red. It's a multi-surface pink from Apple Barrel brand. And I think it's fantastic. That is a size five nail stylus. And I'm just gonna put that same light blue. I'm gonna put um, one in between each of the gunmetal gray dots. Again, just filling up the gaps. I like to repeat my colors if I can at least once throughout the pattern. And that's also just personal preference. And here I'm using the silver. And that is a size 4 millimeter crochet hook. And I'm just going to put a dot right in between each of the red. The shimmer from the metallics is just absolutely beautiful. I love using metallic paints as often as I can. I try to incorporate them. All right, this is a six millimeter crochet hook and I'm just gonna use that same initial gold color. And I'm just going right above each of the silver dots. So right in between each of the red. Now I'm hitting the um, the edges here, so I can't go any further out. This will have to be the last row, unless you work up the size, which would be um, just as well. I just didn't on this particular project. All right, this is a five and a half millimeter crochet hook, and I'm going to go back with the cobalt blue. And I'm just going to put a dot right in between each of the gold dots there on the very last row. And then it's going to be top dot time. Let this dry. Make sure it's very good and dry. I would say an hour or two. Okay, so this is a size 5 nail fibers dotting tool, and I'm just putting a um, red dot on top of the silver here, all the way around. And... I started off with a size 5, but I realized it was too small for my liking, so I went on and got grabbed my uh, smallest wooden dowel, which is about a 3.5 millimeter in size, and I'm putting a uh, dot of cobalt over um, on top of each of the lighter blue dots there. And I'm using that same wooden dowel, and I'm going to put a light blue dot on top of the cobalt there on the outer edge, all the way around. Top dots, that's where you get a lot of your depth. I think top dots really, really bring the project together, so I love doing the top dotting. I just want to say um, that I apologize about the background noise. It is a little um, noisy. It's a very windy day here in Ohio. Okay, so that is a um, size 4 uh, crochet hook, and I'm putting gold on top of the red. And I'm going to switch over to a size 5 nail stylus dotting tool. And I'm just putting a silver dot on top of the gold. I've got to figure out a way to remedy the background noise in these videos. I put some copper 
all the gray, the gunmetal gray. I'm going to use my wooden dowel for that. And some red on top of the copper. Same three and a half uh, millimeter wooden dowel. And that's that same light blue right on top of the cobalt. There are the very first ring, and I'm using a size 1 in Neo Stylus, a very teeny tiny one. Just kind of mixing the colors up. There's gray on the silver. I do some gray on the gold. And you can just leave it just like that if you wanted to. Um, I just noticed um, a couple little gaps that I just thought I would fill in with some metallic white. So I grabbed my um, size 5 nail stylus and I'm just going to go ahead and um, dot around that very outer row um, right in between each of the larger dots. And then I go ahead and put in um, a few top dots. Um, with the same metallic white. So the rest that I use here will be just metallic white. I've had many suggestions of doing this, um, this dish, and I just... I couldn't find the, the pot bottoms, but I guess I just wasn't looking in the right place. I had looked um, at a couple of the um, home improvement stores, and I just wasn't having any luck. I think they were probably just sold out. But I found these at Michael's, and I was like, wow, and they have lots of different sizes. And, um, very reasonable, and I think they're brilliant. I think they're such a cute idea. Um, and there I'm just going still with the metallic white. I'm just putting a little dot on top of some of those, um, those middle rows. And just had a little mess up. You just Q-tip it right off. No problem. Because at this point the under dots are all dry. And um, using the multi-surface paints, they're they dry pretty slick so it works out good and you can just wipe up your mistakes. If you like this video please hit the like button and I would love to hear your thoughts so leave me a comment and if you're new to my channel I would love to have you as a subscriber. And there's the final product again. Thanks so much for watching guys. See you next time.